Hey there guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about the Tesla Model Y versus the Tesla Model 3. So in the previous video we talked about the only the Tesla Model Y, but I wanted to compare it to its previous um, like little brother in a way. So let's get right into it. Alright, so starting with the beautiful Tesla Model Y, uh, the starting price of this car is $52,990, and which is a pretty nice price because um, the Tesla Model X was the only SUV that Tesla had before this, and it started around 100 k so this is a, a much cheaper price and it's more affordable for more customers. And also, they have two different warranties that you can get on this car. A four-year, 50,000-mile basic warranty, or you could upgrade to the eight-year, 120,000-mile powertrain. And also, the MPG, or miles per gallon for this car, is 129 miles in city and 112 highway. So the range with the battery is 315 to 316 miles. Again, if you want to know more about only the Model Y, go ahead and check out the last video because we went more deep into the Model Y. And if you, that's one of your interests, go ahead and check that out. And it comes in two configurations. The long range, which is which starts at 52990 And the performance, which uh, starts exactly $8,000 higher than that at 60990 So... Um, they have like a slight much of a difference, but um, check out the previous video for more information on that. And now the Model 3. So the Model 3 is cheaper than the Model Y, but again, it's a sedan and the Model Y is an SUV. So you want to, if you want an SUV for like a family trips and stuff, so go, you, the Model Y is worth the price. But the Model 3 is also worth its price for the sedan because $40,000 basically is a pretty affordable price for most Tesla cons cons uh, um, consumers. So that's a nice one. And also the range is much lower than the SUV because obviously it is smaller. So then it has a, uh, like a smaller base and stuff. So the range is 250 to 322 miles. Okay, so the, it goes up to 322 max. The other one only went up to 316 max. So that's a difference there but the mpg of this car is 148 city and 132 highway also this is also much higher than the model y again the mpg for the model y was 129 city 112 highway and this one is at 148 city 132 highway so the curb weight is about 3500 pounds to 4100 pounds that's pretty heavy because, you know, that's why Teslas are safe. They're all heavy. So Teslas are heavy because of their big batteries and all that. So that's what they make. Like, that's why they're safe vehicles because they don't tip over. They don't roll. So that's nice. And I do love Teslas, by the way, because they're like the step in the future. And also, before we uh, talk more about this cars, if you haven't already and if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you uh, and also smash that um, bell notification so that you never miss out on a new upload. And I will be talking about more facts just like this one on just not just cars, but phones and all, all the other stuff too. So go ahead and smash that notification bell and the subscribe button. And don't forget the like button too, because if you smash the like button, then let's see if we can get to... Let's see if we can get 200 likes, maybe. We want, I want 100 likes on one of the videos. So go, let's talk about the configurations now, though. All right. So this car comes into three configurations. The standard, long, the standard range plus the long range and the performance. So the Model Y came into the long range and the performance. But this one includes the standard range plus, which is at 40,000. So... The long range is at like nine thousand dollars higher than the standard, and the performance is like about seven eight thousand dollars higher than the long range. So there's a pretty significant difference between each, but each one does provide its own and special, um, like different things for each one. So performance performance is meant for like speed and stuff, and the long range is meant for like family trips and stuff so, and then the st standard range is the cheaper one of the two well the cheaper one of the three if you want a tesla but you don't want to you're not thinking of paying too much on it so that's what the each of them is for and that's pretty much it really so both of them are obviously luxury vehicles as you can see 
And we are talking about the 2020, obviously, because this the Tesla Model Y came out this year. And they actually introduced this car, and they said that they were going to... Uh, well, they introduced introduced this in, like, the March of 2019. So it's been about a year since they actually said they were going to take it out. But they did anyway, and it actually felt like a pretty fast one year. So uh, now it's out, so that's a good thing, though. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, remember to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new here, so you can join the club with every other subscriber that we have. And thank you for watching, and bye!